you know, thinking back to winter workouts and all the snow and all the ice on the field that we were working out on, and, you know, to be here at the last game is it's quite it's it's quite a just it's quite a difficult um the season went by pretty fast for us and you know we're just working hard every day together and like coach always says we do hard things together and and I feel like this season flew by for us. And coach always talks about it doesn't matter about the points or wins or losses it depends on how you play in the game and how you fight and how you finish and that's the bottom line and that's what he preaches and I've seen that from from week one all the way to week 11 now going into week 12 so I see major, you know, improvement in each and area. We just got to keep going. Um, no, we're just focused on us. Um, that's the bottom line. We're going to keep doing what we do to prepare, and we're just going to focus on us, and we're just going to keep playing as hard as we can as a team and, you know, just really rely on each other. Um, they're, they're a good team over there. Uh, they have good players, and we have good players over here too as well. So I don't really look toward the matchup. I'm just going to focus on us and our game plan, and we're just going to go from there. Now we got offense, defense, special teams, and the fourth side. The fourth side is our sideline, and that's that's who we rely on. So the energy there is, is is totally different from week one to week eleven now. So it's it's a big difference in our sideline is is what gives us energy. We don't look toward no one else but our sideline, and basically that's our brothers. So that's what we look forward to. Yes, sir. And then I've seen a major difference in from last year and the, my first year to now. It's a it's a way. It's a dramatic change that I see, and you know it's only going to get better from here, and it's only going to go up from here. We just got to work on it more. That's the bottom line. We just got to be more consistent in practice, more consistent in the game, more consistent going to the buzz. It, it doesn't matter. It just always has to be consistent everywhere, and that's how you win games. You, whoever's more consistent and who are more execute, that's how you win games, and that's just what we got to tune up a little bit. And I see this program, and I know we're going to rise, and that's the whole thing of who's rising. It's just good football, you know. Um, just a passion for the game just really just comes out, you know. So, you know, just like every game, we want to win, just like they do. So, but it's just it's just a big passion. I just I just you can feel it, you know. The night before, you know, you can feel it on a game day. Both teams just you know want to go. You know, I want to kick the ball off, you know, just so I can play first, you know. So I wish I was on kick off or kick return or something like that, you know, but. It's just a big passion for the game. This game is like every other game. You know, we just, we want to win, you know, and it's just, it's on us if we want to do it, if we can do it. You know, Coach Mendoza, like I said, for the defense, it gives us a great game plan. Just like he did last week against Georgia Tech, we just got to execute better, you know. So it's just going to come down to those routine plays, Coach uh, Ruff says, that we have to make and just, just play our all, you know. Just, I'm going to play my hardest, and I know Quinn's going to play his hardest. Mike is going to do his, you know, and just down the line, everybody just has to do what they can to just to just execute to the best of their ability. And if we do that with Coach Mendenhall's game plan, then we should we should have a great chance to win, like, every week. I said, well, shit, last, last time we went down there, I started against Virginia Tech, so that was, that was a great game. You know, I think it was that night game we played against them. It was – it's a beautiful game, you know. Like I said, just so much passion, feel, feel. You know, you can feel it from the stands. You know, from the stands talking trash. I mean, from the fans talking trash to you from on the sidelines. You know, to to being out there in between the side. You know, in between the lines. It's just, it's a great game. You know, sideline or playing, it's a great energy filled game, all the way to the end. Uh, he tells us to focus on us. You know, that's what, that's what we, that's how we win or lose games. It's not because of what anybody else does. It's because of what we do or don't do. You know, it's because of our execution. So that's that's just Coach Mendenhall's thing is is focus on us, and and we control we control everything that we do. You know, uh, everything's still building right now. You know, everyone everyone's still bought in. Everyone still you know everyone still believes because we can we can still win. You know, we got one more game and that's our chance to go out and and, and win. You know, that's like I said last week when I was here, we want to win every game. And Coach Mendenhall wants to win, I think, more than anybody. And, I, and he puts together a great game plan, a great game plan for us to go out there and do that. So that's just our whole thing is to go out there and just do our job and execute as well as we can. So that's what we're focused on. Um, just like the last home game, it wasn't – I was pretty calm, you know, just taking it all in, you know, just sitting in the locker room before we go out for kickoff and, you know, everybody's putting their stuff on. 
and just sitting there looking at, you know, just just looking at guys that I'll never be able to play with again, you know. Just looking at guys put their thigh pads and their knee pads and their pants, you know, just getting taped for the last time, you know. So I was just taking that all in and just just enjoying it, really. It's been a blessing, and it's been for me to even come to this university and play football here. So I'm just I'm just thankful for the opportunity. Uh, it's been it's been good, you know. I'm like I said, I've been taking it all in, just enjoying it every snap, you know. And just and then like I was telling guys, I I love this team so much that you know when I see guys like Trusilla make a tackle, like I'm so happy for them. It feels like I made a tackle, you know. Or Quinn makes a tackle, Micah, you know, or Eli or or uh, Andrew, him TFL or Sack or anything like that. It's I'm so like we all worked hard together. We all we all did all this tempo runs and all that together. So it, it's it's amazing regardless of who makes the play. You know, I I love these guys and it's just been it's been an amazing experience over the last four years and over the last since January with Coach Mendenhall. You know, to put in work with these guys and see these guys make plays. So uh, it's an amazing feeling regardless who makes the play. Coach Mendenhall is um is a great leader. You know, he's somebody that I look up to. You know, he doesn't really do the whole screaming and yelling or big speeches and stuff like that because he's a, he's a get right to a guy. You know, he, what you see is what you get. And um, he has the whole team bought in, you know, regardless of our record or anything like that. This team, this, this program is going to win because of him, you know, and because of the players. And uh, we love that man. You just have to continue to be positive to you know the younger guys, and uh, just always drill it in their heads throughout the season, throughout the week. You know, sometimes I mean, at this point, it gets hard for the younger guys. They kind of you know may be tired of everything and all that stuff, but uh, just being positive and being that guy, you know, no matter what, to have that positivity on the team. Uh, to me, it's another game. I'm always you know saying it's another game for me. So just going out there and doing my job and trying to get this win. I'm, I'm blessed to be in the position I'm in, being that, you know, I've been through a lot here, but uh, I'm not, you know, really satisfied at all. You know, of course, I've done some good things this year, but uh, it could always be a lot more I could do. I mean, of course, everybody would like to win, you know, the last game, but uh, just being out there one more game with all my teammates, guys I've been through all kind of stuff with year in and year out. So, uh, yeah, just really going out there and just giving them all with my teammates is pretty much what I'm looking forward to. Uh, just knowing that, you know, no matter what the situation may be, just always come ready to work bring positivity because in life it'll be the same way everything's not going to be perfect for you so just having that having going through that has prepared me for you know life in the future so uh, I'm glad to be in the position that I'm in and I'm glad I went through the stuff I've been through yeah it's really fun to play in uh especially you know, playing there is really fun uh last time we were there a rocking crowd really packed really loud uh it's always a good game ever, ever since I've been here it's always been you know down to the end so uh, expecting more of that this this week. Uh, every year you always want to be the team that, you know, ended the skid, I guess, you know, 12 in a row. Can't really, in my opinion, it's not really a rivalry if, the, you know, you're not winning, if it's not back and forth type thing. 12 years in a row, that's, that's dominance. So uh, we definitely want to try to reverse that trend and, uh, you know, get this get this program going in the right direction. Just, just uh, definitely need you know, little little building blocks to the foundation. Uh, I think Coach Menhall and staff are doing a great job of really starting something new here. Although you you know not as much tangible success as we would have liked. Um, just the overall morale of the team, and and you know the direction this this thing's going in. I'm very optimistic about the future. So you know, getting a win on Saturday would be definitely great for building upon that. You know, uh, we're gonna play. We always play hard. We play tough and. Uh, They've just found a way to win. That's something that we've really been working working on, I think, and trying to develop is just finding ways to win. And uh, I'm optimistic that if it came down to it this time, I, th I think we'll get it done. Yeah, it's just, uh, like I said, the difference between, you know, good programs, like I'm going to call Space Bade, Virginia Tech, that's a good program. They've always been good. And, you know, where we are right now is they, they find a way to win. And, uh, that's just like look at them last week. They're down 17 nothing at Notre Dame, and they find a way to win. So that's just a, a hat off to their program. And uh, we definitely, I think, I think we're going in the right direction. I think we're getting close, but close doesn't cut it. And uh, I think, I would like to think that we would be able to, you know, come through if it came down to it. And I hope that we can. 
Um, not really. They overall, they just wanted us to play hard and you know stay at it. They know it's a tough road, kind of that we're on. You know, Coach Menhall, this is not. This is not gonna be, you know, Ron wasn't building a day. So, you know, just keep playing hard, keep staying focused, and uh, keep trusting what the coaches are telling us. And then, uh, yeah, if, if when in tech, that's clearly icing on the cake, too. So, just that, and then just give them, you know, a big, big win. You know, I, like I said, I think we've been really close the last few years of having just like that big win that we thought would kind of be a, mo a momentum switch for us, whether it's Louisville or, or Notre Dame. And, uh, just giving them that one, that one last big hurrah. Especially, you know, this is basically my class too. Guys like Zach and Dante. So just to send them out the right way, that would be that would be awesome. Um, you know, playing the game, it's it's a very exciting game, and uh, Virginia Tech's very. We respect them a lot, you know, especially what they've done in the past. Their their program history. It's it's a special program, and you know, um, our focus this week is definitely on us and and getting to play with my best friends one last time and. And I'm really excited to play at Virginia Tech. I think their stadium is, is a very fun place to play. It's a hostile environment, but that's why you play this game, to go into environments like that. And, and um, we are excited. Like I said, I think the biggest focus, obviously a win would be very helpful going into uh, next year's team's offseason. However, this team will never be the same. Last year's team was nowhere near the same as it was this year. This team is nowhere near the same as it was when we were five and seven. You know, every year is a brand new team. Um, and, and so it's really my focus is, like I said, on us and, and being able to play with my best friends one last time. But um, I guess showing the younger guys how to handle a rivalry week, you know, that'll be uh, what, what it'll be about. And, um, I would love for these guys to be able to have that success going into their off season. Obviously, I mean that's what I think about. I daydream before every game, you know that. But it, this this one will be a little more special of being at the last one, and um, I'm excited to uh, to play in the last game and against a very respectable opponent like Virginia Tech. Yeah, I mean they are everywhere. Their guys are all over the place, and they play very good defense. You know. Uh, Coach Foster has a really good reputation, and so does, so does their defense. And they are year after year, no matter who's back there. So, um, you know, I have a little bit of an idea of what they've been doing so far, but I definitely, that's what this week will be about. I'll be preparing to the best of my ability. And, um, yeah. For him, it's, it's another game to prepare and for him to coach the way he does. He's not going to change. And the players who have the experience, no, not to change. And Mike had touched on it. You know, in a game like this, you can't let your emotions get the best of you because it is a rivalry game. However, you have to do your job and treat it as another game because that's what it is. Once you allow, once your focus goes towards the opponent, then you're taking away from what your preparation is for.